Let's talk about how to set up the Partner Center CRM. When you first open the CRM, you'll see sections for contacts, companies, and opportunities. Each section includes standard fields for storing information. If you need to store additional marketing information or data from external systems, you can create custom fields. To ensure the CRM aligns with your business operations, audit the fields you currently use or plan to use in the future, and create the necessary custom fields within the CRM. As you keep adding data to the CRM, some of the same information might get entered more than once. The CRM is designed to prevent duplicate information. By default, contacts will be deduplicated based on their email addresses, and both contacts and companies can be deduplicated based on their unique IDs. Another key part of the CRM is the opportunities. This is where you track how deals move through your sales process. You can customize and manage multiple pipelines in the CRM to match your company's sales processes. Each business is unique, and our CRM understands this. It's designed to be customizable to your operational needs and to grow with your business. Now, let's take a look at the CRM in action. In Partner Center, you'll find your list of contacts and companies inside the CRM tab. Contacts are the individual people you work with, while companies are the businesses that those people are associated with. The next tab is your Opportunities tab. This is where you will find your pipelines and manage your opportunities. We'll go through this in detail later in this course. Let's start by going to Companies. The Companies tab should contain all of the accounts that you have already added to the Vendasta platform. To add a new company to the CRM, start in the Companies tab and click the Create Company button in the top corner. Start typing in the name of the company you want to add. If the business is found, you can select it and Autofill will add in all the basic information for you. In the CRM, there's a tool called the Prospector that helps you find local businesses to reach out to. In the company table, you can click on Find Nearby Businesses and enter the type of business and location you're interested in, like Coffee Shop in New York, or a specific zip code such as 10021. The prospector then shows you a list of nearby businesses, along with details like their website status, reviews, and whether they've claimed their Google business profile. These details can show you if a business might need help with their online presence. From there, you can pick which businesses you want to target and add them as company records in your CRM. The prospector will also let you know if the company already exists in your CRM to prevent duplicates. Now that you know the different ways to create companies in the new CRM, Let's take a look at the company profile. On the left, you'll find the essential information about the business, like their phone number, website, or any other custom field data. It's conveniently located on the profile page for quick access and edits. In the middle, you can create a note, log an email, call, meeting, tasks, or even SMS and LinkedIn messages. All these activities can be associated with nearly unlimited contacts and companies to remind yourself exactly who you've engaged with. On the right, you can find a list of objects that the company is associated with, such as contacts, opportunities, orders, products, and even the parent and child companies. This opens up a whole new level of flexibility in customer management, especially if you're selling to businesses with multiple locations. To add a new contact to your CRM, start in the Contacts tab and click the Create Contact button in the top right-hand corner. Start by filling in the name, email, or phone number. If possible, ensure you have the email address of the contact you are adding. The CRM will check the email to make sure it doesn't already exist in the CRM. If they do, the CRM will surface that record, preventing you from creating the contact and link you to the existing record instead of creating a new one. The CRM will also check for phone numbers and will surface a warning if an identical phone number is found. However, it will not block you from creating a contact with the same phone number. After creating the contact, you can now start associating contact with the company that you're working on. You can also add a label to highlight the role of the contact, such as owner, point of contact, etc. Or, if you are adding contacts to company, you can also go to the company profile page Go to expand the associated contacts, click add contact. From here, find and select a contact that you have already created and add them to the company's page, 
or create a new contact in the flow of work and then associate the contact with the company. You can also add the records to the CRM by importing them. Head to the contacts page and click on import. From there, you can upload a CSV file. In the next step, you'll match the columns in your CSV file to the corresponding fields in the CRM. Here, you can also specify if you'd like to update the records with any new information found in this file if contacts within existing emails are detected. Once you start the import, it runs in the background. You can check the contacts table later to find the new contacts that have been added.